You know, there's a mathematical word that you might not have heard unless you're into mathematics. It's the word integer. What it means is one. It means one. Connected to that word is the word integrity. What does integrity mean? It means one. In what sense? In the sense that you are one person. That is to say, you live what you believe and what you say. The opposite would be duplicity, where you're talking out of both sides of your mouth, where you say one thing on one occasion and something else on another occasion, where you can't be trusted, where you're not consistent. Integrity is to be one. And let me tell you what makes for integrity. It is a clear set of convictions. In other words, integrity is based on the fact that you believe certain truths and they are fixed and inviolable and immovable and unshakable. And you live and you speak according to those truths. Integrity for a leader, for anybody in any responsible ministry, is absolutely critical because it undergirds everything you say. If you're telling other people what to do, if you're explaining to other people what God expects of them, that needs to be supported by the integrity of your own life. But again, you have to start with firm convictions based upon the Word of God. If you lose your integrity, if you have violated your integrity, if you have lived uh, in some ways uh, undermining the things that you preach and the things that you teach and the things that you affirm to other people, how do you get back? Um, may take time. You have to restore what was lost. Start with repentance. Uh, the Lord will forgive that. And then uh, re-grip those firm, unshakable convictions you know to be true. And walk in the Holy Spirit. And you can restore what was lost. It'll take time, but it can be done.